Are we going to set some practicals up throughout the hallway? You can probably just increase these. They're really they It's a bit too, like, bright, though. I'd love to own just two of these. <laughs> two pixel tubes. Let's take the light mat and kind of up in here. Maybe put the grid on it. Okay. And then match the color temp on that light to these light We can also cost a lot here. Yeah, I think we should. Probably. Pretty close. It's in a state of like anti gravity. Rotate back up. Right on the line. But that's the cool thing with this this base plate. So you just unscrew that. Clips out like that. Nice. I'm looking at this latency. Right? Are you uh, I'm able that. to see both? Yeah, I can see both, yeah. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah it's still good. I'd say, that's wild. If this thing's reliable on set, like, just use it every time. I've been pretty happy with this transmitter over, like, some of the other ones I've used. I swear to God, if it gives me that. It should say enter now. And you click right. that. So now we have two signals coming, iPad and iPhone. Filmmaking tools on this app are pretty cool, like focus peaking and false color, just like you would have on a normal field monitor. What's up, y'all? You're on the set for Superpowers. <laughs> Travis directing today. Travis, you're out of camera. I've been like, yeah. oh, done so already. Um, Lee? Lee? Anyway, Lee's here, yep. Down the, the door a little bit this time. Oh. It was like the other takes, it was just like a smooth Got motion. It. So we'll just Sorry, do another take. No worries. It's getting cold. Play it back. Play it back. Action! Good. Cut! Shooting out two hours yep. with a single handled gimbal. I mean, this isn't that heavy, but it's, it's still, definitely it's, like, the it's the endurance of it. Yeah. Oh, this is so much better. Right. So we're gonna go under slung for this for her boot shot. Camera up, playback. her finger because it wouldn't come from below right a little bit of that and then I'm gonna say focus and then he's gonna focus to your finger and there's just flames the whole time attitude and face focus yeah 
we did all the hand or the tripod stuff, so now we're gonna go back to gimbal. The sick thing is we were able to actually use this plate because this is a Manfrotto base plate on here, so we didn't actually have to take the plate off at all, which is really nice. gonna take you with it dude it feels weird i've never used a gimbal where it felt like this like attached to me <laughs> Yeah, the transmitter is definitely the best part of this uh, little setup here. I just got a gaff taped on here for now because uh, we're running out of time. Stick it up high and kind of angle it down in. We've got two on either side, and this should be like almost like a key light on here. Mm -hmm. um, Get a shot of this first. Oh, you know be sick. In the background. Oh, yeah, exactly. Hurt a blurry, a blurry. Yeah, background. that's awesome. Have you ever seen people uh, color out this the inside so of their lenses? Yeah. Because it reflects off Dallas, of their filters. No, Dallas, Dallas, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. 100% worth it. Here we go. Alright, got that? That was amazing. Right. That's a wrap. Good job. Anyway, thanks for hanging out on set with us today. Thanks to Zayun for sponsoring this video. And also, if you want to know more information about the gimbal or the image transmission module, be sure to check the links down below. But that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.